Go be good. Go be good somewhere. I'm gonna give you a treat so that you're quiet. Today on the Edgy Veg, you and I are going on a trip. I've teamed up with Almond Breeze, who is sponsoring this video, and they are sending us to Sacramento, California, so that we can see where almond beverage comes from. So excited to show you guys all the cool stuff I learned about almond farming and also what I ate while I was there and stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite bunch de bunch desserts brunch desserts using almond breeze good morning I am in Sacramento and today is the first day of going to check out the blue diamond facilities and headquarters to see where your almond breeze almond milk comes from Blue Diamond Growers was founded in 1910, and one of the coolest things that I learned while I was there is that they are the largest producers of almond in the world. Blue Diamond Growers is a cooperative that's been around for over 100 years. So that's a really long time, so you can trust that they know the almond business. There are over 3,000 almond growers, range from first to fourth generation almond growers. Isn't that amazing? I love a company that is based on like family, family values, and passing down everything that you know through your family traditions. I think that's so, so cool. Then we had our lunch. Lunch was so delicious. I had a stuffed pepper. It was stuffed with corn and beans. It had a beautiful vegan, like cheesy mayo on top, and they had a wonderful salad. It was so tasty. For dessert, we had a deconstructed lemon meringue pie, and it was so good. All the food we had throughout the entire trip that was provided by Blue Diamond was Almond Breeze inspired. I cook with it all the time, but I forgot to tell people because I feel like people don't realize a lot of the time that you can cook with this or forget that you can cook with it so I got a lot of really awesome recipe ideas all right we're off to an NBA game I'm so excited blue diamond sponsors them their little logo is on their jersey um, and we're going to you know have some drinks watch a game and do a dinner so come along Okay, so I just got back from the Kings game. I don't know anything about sports, so I pretty much just spent the entire time drinking, eating, and chatting. Um, but I just got back from the hotel room and there's a surprise on my bed. Are you ready for this? This is so nice. The people at Blue Diamond are so kind. Um, a little background, we're going to an almond orchard tomorrow. And this is what they dropped off to the room. Okay, so these are a pair of Hunter boots that I don't have to get my shoes that I brought muddy. And then I have this branded cooler bag. Ah, what's this? It snowed today, so they included this vest that were nice and warm. Ooh, I'm definitely going to bring this on the airplane. Uh, they did not have any almond milk for me on the flight here, so this will be amazing. I'm so excited. Tuesday morning was another early one. Uh, Liv and I decided to get breakfast at 7.30 in the morning, so we went down to the uh, hotel restaurant and had some vegan oats that they put together for us, so it was just regular oats with some almond milk and some fresh fresh fruit and nuts. So we had a really nice breakfast and then hopped on the bus with everybody else and went to an almond orchard. Just driving through California and seeing all these rows and rows and rows of orchards was such a beautiful sight. Seeing where food comes from was really, really inspiring. When the California orchard almonds bloom, it takes over 1 million colonies of bees to pollinate the flowers. And that is how you get almonds. My favorite part of this trip was absolutely the orchard tour. I actually had no idea that almonds grew on trees. It was such a cool experience to see them. It was in blossom season, so just there were these beautiful white and pink blossoms on all of the trees. You know, there were bees everywhere just pollinating. You really got to see nature at work. It was so beautiful. The farmers were so generous. They really answered all of our questions and any concerns we had, you know, about California drought, for example, and they, they really talked to us about all of the really cool and innovative ways that they were trying 
trying to conserve water and be super efficient. So I'm currently in the Blue Diamond Growers Almond Orchard. Uh, we met one of the many growers today and look at how gorgeous this place is. Is this not the most beautiful place you've ever seen? That YouTubing life happening right now. Liv, you look like a pixie. On arrival, we had breakfast waiting for us. So first breakfast and second breakfast. So the vegan lunch was absolutely delicious. Again, it was almond braised inspired. There was a really tasty pasta salad that I had three helpings of, a sun-dried tomato and balsamic tofu, as well as a really delicious almond braised and champagne dress salad. The salad was mind-blowing as well, so tasty. And for dessert was the best vegan chocolate cupcake I've ever had in my life. I definitely took one for the road after. I want to say a big thank you to Blue Diamond and Almond Breeze for sending me out there. I really got to learn how dedicated and passionate these almond growers are and they genuinely care about the land that provides for them and it was just so cool to learn that the blue diamond growers cooperative means that blue diamond actually works for the farmer and so i think that that's a really cool side of almond breeze that i didn't know all right guys without further ado i know i promised you a recipe and i am about to deliver i'm a big kid i drink the almond breeze chocolate by the cart when I was growing up in Germany, one of my favorite desserts to get as a kid was this thing called ice chocolate. We would go to a cafe and the literal translation is ice cream chocolate. And what it is, it's like a root beer ice cream float, except instead of root beer, it uses chocolate milk. Now I'm going to show you how to make this dessert using almond breeze. First thing we are going to do is fill up a glass with almond breeze chocolate. Fill it up about three quarters of the way. You definitely want some room for ice cream in there. And then we are just going to add two scoops of your favorite vegan ice cream and then topping that with your favorite vegan whipped topping. So you can use any type of whipped topping that you love. And there you have it, a yummy vegan dessert that can be whipped up in minutes. If you like this recipe, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what the coolest almond fact was that you learned in this video today. If you're new here, please take the time to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on new vegan recipes every single week. Check out the links in the description box below to learn more about Blue Diamond and Almond Breeze and I will see you guys next time. Bye.